couple days, so that's why it's important to stay up to date with NBC23. At Comfort Tech, we understand the importance of having a comfortable and well-regulated indoor environment. When it comes to air conditioning and heating, we believe in offering only the highest quality products from leading manufacturers in the industry. Let us replace your old HVAC system with a newer, better one from trusted brands. We'll keep your HVAC system running smoothly with our top-notch repair and tune-up services. Comfort Tech Best AC and Heating Solutions with quality work. Watch local 23 news for the South Texas Health Minute. This segment is supported by South Texas Health System. TXQ Energy is changing the energy game with Live Your Free, the first and only plan of its kind that automatically adapts each month to give you free energy when you use it most. Having a plan that's made just for me changed everything. Live Your Free adapts to your changing energy needs. So I always get my biggest savings guaranteed. Either every day. Every night. Or every weekend. Which I can easily see in a TXU Energy app. Those are savings you never have to choose. Choosing's not really my thing. TXU Energy. Energy for everything. Senator Morgan Lamentia is working against jobs in our area by supporting overreaching federal regulations on oil and gas production. You have a better choice. Republican Adam Hinojosa is a successful entrepreneur and job creator. Adam Hinojosa owns and operates small businesses and is working to grow and revitalize our area. As your next state senator, I'll fight to protect jobs in the oil and gas industry, supporting families and growing our economy. Vote Republican Adam Hinojosa for Texas State Senate. Valley Central, easy access to the news important to you. Breaking news as it happens, exclusive videos, local weather and more. Log on today for everything happening in the 956. ValleyCentral.com, 956 news you can trust. There's so many reasons to watch Kelly. Weekdays at 3 p.m. You're watching NBC 23. Well, Vice President Kamala Harris rallied last night with supporters in Las Vegas and former President Donald Trump was in Pennsylvania where his comments are now drawing scrutiny about uh, about the hurricane situation. Now, Washington correspondent Rashad Hudson has details on what the candidates both had to say. Both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Trump spent the weekend campaigning in states that could determine the outcome of the 2024 presidential election. They may have been in different states, but their topic was the same, border security. Vice President Kamala Harris told supporters in Las Vegas Sunday night she's all in. It's time to turn the page. Harris focused much of her West Coast campaign trip on securing the southern border and slamming former President Trump for tanking a bill she says would have addressed border concerns. He thought that that bill, if passed, would have hurt him and he'd prefer to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. She also challenged Trump to another debate. I think he should debate again. Friday, Harris walked a stretch of the U.S.-Mexico border in Arizona and called for tougher migration laws. There's something wrong with Kamala. Trump is facing scrutiny from his Republican allies for his latest round of attacks on Harris. Joe Biden became mentally impaired, said, but lying Kamala Harris, honestly, I believe she was born that way. I just think the better course to take is to prosecute the case that her policies are destroying the country. They're crazy liberal. And tomorrow night, the vice presidential candidates, Senator J.D. Vance and Governor Tim Walz, will face off in their first and likely only debate. Reporting in Washington, Rashad Hudson, back to you. Thank you, Rashad. Well, if you think you're a mosquito magnet, then you might not be imagining it. A new study published by the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension says mosquitoes have preferences and rely on carbon dioxide to locate their targets. Body temperature and odor also play significant roles, and anything that alters these factors can make someone more or less attracted to the insects. The study also found that pregnant women seem to attract more mosquitoes, primarily because of their increased carbon dioxide output, adding that the insects seem seem to be attracted to people who are intoxicated as they tend to put out more carbon dioxide and sweat more. All right, here's what's coming up right after NBC 23 on the Today Show. Good morning, Hoda. 
Good morning, guys. Coming up on today, our first hand look at the unprecedented damage in the wake of Hurricane Helene all across the South. Millions still without power, entire communities cut off by flooding and mountains of debris. We're live with the very latest. Also ahead, tributes are pouring in for beloved songwriter and actor Chris Christopherson. We'll celebrate his award winning careers in music and in Hollywood. Plus, there is encouraging news when it comes to mortgage rates falling to the lowest level in years. This morning, what you need to know if you're looking to buy or sell. And then we're going to catch up with wow, SNL yeah. alum Kate McKinnon when she stops by to tell us about her debut novel. We'll have that and more a little later right here on Today. With the latest looks arriving monthly, there's always something new to love at Furniture Row, like the Krisha Sleeper Sectional. Boasting luxurious comfort, several layouts, and two colors, the Krisha elevates any home with stylish practicality. Or dine on the Traverse City with a weathered chestnut finish and bookmatched pattern. This rustic contemporary set is great for gatherings of any size. And for your bedroom, the Levita features a cool natural look with simulated live edge cuts and a casual contemporary appeal. Find these fresh new looks and more now at Furniture Row. Something monumental covering all things football is coming. Football's newest show breaks down all things NFL, from the plays to the players, from camp to kickoff, and everything in between, all year long. GMFB Overtime. It's football for everyone. Today at 9 a.m. on KGBT 4.1. Climate change. Vulnerable neighborhoods. Threatened ecosystems. Our challenges demand we do better, and a tree can be an answer. Because a tree can be innovative, it can be unifying, it can be a home. Now is the time for trees. Let's plant millions of trees together. While happening today, testimonies expected to continue in the capital murder trial of Salomon Campos Jr. Campos is accused of killing his uncle and well-known Harlingen attorney Ernesto El Gallito Gonzalez. Now, former Harlingen PD detective Joel Yanez is expected back on the stand in day four of testimony. Yanez was questioned on his qualifications to interpret the GPS data. He testified that the GPS data shows Campos was at three places on the last day that Gonzalez was seen. Gonzalez was missing in wet missing rather in 2017 and his body was found in 2020 at a goat farm owned by Campos. Harlingen police employees also testified to missing video footage because of budget cuts and our team has extensive breakdowns of testimony right now on valleycentral.com. And the Hidalgo County Elections Department is preparing for the November elections. The Elections Department tested the logic and accuracy functions of its voting machines. Uh, they also tested, uh, conducted uh, tests on their voting machines to ensure that the ballots are programmed and counted accurately. Elections officials say that the testing acts as a security measure to make sure that the election is administered correctly. This is part of uh, the election process. Uh, it is, of course, uh, you know, law, uh, as per the Texas Election Code, that we check each and every voting machine that is going to be deployed to the polling locations throughout early voting and election day for logic and accuracy. Salinas says that the county still needs poll workers to work the elections as well and encourages you to apply. And before we go, here's a last look at what we can expect for these next three days. So remember, today is going to be hot, muggy, dry, and that's going to be the same thing for tomorrow. So a little bit of a copy and paste forecast with those high temperatures slightly above average for this time of year. And then when